hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you how you can handle the null value which are coming from various sources like odbc connection or excel file or csv file so how you can handle using some of the system variables which are provided from the click so first is the null display variable so what it does is it's basically substitute null values with the given string for data coming from the odpc right so if the data is coming from a database open database connectivity or from the databases then null displays the variable that you will going to use and whatever data that is coming you need to uh, specify like this set null display equals to this string so whatever string i have just used this angle brackets and null but you can specify anything like space or numeric value like zero in some cases you want to specify so all the null values will be changed to this when the data is coming from the odpc so that's about the databases now let's see in case of the excel csv file and the inline table that we specify directly within the click sense so in that case null interpret is the variable that you need to use for substituting the null value with the defined string so how you need to do that is by specifying like set null interpret and then the value that you want to use to substitute the null values so here i have given the example of zero and definitely don't forget to end it the statement by semicolon after that i have the null value which is bit special because this will help you to further customize how you want to define the null values because in this case you can specify the null values on a particular field so what it is let's read it if null null as value so that's a keyword if null as value statement is used the given text will be used to sub substitute null values uh, within the variable null value all right so what we are doing first we are saying null as value field one field two put a semicolon see i forgot here but you need to specify semicolon over there so null as value field one field two so whatever table that you are using prior to that you need to use this statement or prior to load statement you need to use that statement and then you need to say set null value equals to whatever null value so here in this case i have just given like a blank space so wherever i'm uh, null value is coming in the field one field two you will uh, get a blank space uh, to to basically handle it so this will provide i hope this will provide a lot of control in terms of how you want to manage the null values within your data set or within your application so these are some of the var uh, variables and a keyword that i wanted to show you that is available for us uh, by which we can handle null values so that's pretty much it and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic